A grandmother is prepping a lawsuit against Guyon Creek Elementary School after she says her grandson was beaten at recess, leaving him with a concussion. The fight reportedly broke out on March 6th, where the child was repeatedly hit and then dragged on the ground by another student. Teachers just stood by and watched. Um, the appalling thing here is that the grandparent, who is his adopted parent following the loss of his parents, wasn't contacted. The child's grandmother says she noticed her grandson's injuries when she picked him up from school, so she took him to the hospital. She filed a police report the next day. Her attorneys say the physical assault was caught on security cameras, but they have not been able to get a copy. This poor grandmother uh, is having to go to school every day just to make sure he is all right and that he feels safe. That is the school's responsibility, not hers. The family claims the child faced bullying throughout the entire school year as well. Now they're seeking damages due to negligence causing personal injury and other claims. When the parents step up, and they try to do something, whether it's in civil court or a due process in front of the Department of Education, they've got another fight. This is not the only incident of a fight at the same school this year. Court records show an altercation broke out on February 27th, where the teacher was present and didn't intervene. Prosecutors have charged that teacher with two counts of neglect. I think we have a larger scale problem. I think teachers aren't stepping in a lot of places because they're not receiving adequate training. There's really not enforcement of bullying policies. Today is the last day of school and the lawyer for the family behind the lawsuit says that the child is going to therapy but feels uneasy about returning back to school next year. In the newsroom, Claire Curry, Fox 59 News.